Hello everyone, Cheek here with another Transformers review, and today I'll be reviewing the 10 year anniversary, or the anniversary edition of um, Transformers Prime Megatron, and there he is in the, um, with all of his accessories, all the stickers applied, and he is actually honestly kind of disappointing. Disappointing in the sense of he is just so loose, like everything's so loosey goosey. Might be able to uh, fix that up with some nail polish potentially uh i will try that trick at some point the stickers were a real pain to get on and um look feels like a couple of them might be wanting to come off already that's definitely quite a bit of an ordeal if you'll notice his uh fusion cannon is a mini con that i had to build and uh, there's quite a bit of stress marks as if instructions weren't quite clear on the whole time this is also a giant scythe, which is also a uh, mini con, sort of. I mean, it's pretty big for a mini con, but it is a weapon. And then, like I said, of course, his fusion cannon is a uh, also a mini con. That kind of is like a little bit of a gorilla. Okay, so I had the original Transformers Prime Megatron years ago, um, and then I gave him up. I doubt I'll ever be able to get him back, but. So I was kind of like, well, this looks like it might be a good opportunity to get one, uh, get him back. Is that the chrome does look nice. I think this is supposed to be more of, not quite, but close to when he got possessed by Unicron and came back from the dead and all that. You know, Bumblebee killed him, spoiler alert, whatever. But I mean, it's been out for years now. But uh, it's the same mold. It's just uh, different colors for different parts like there's a lot more molded black plastic so he's not very screen accurate in that regard and also like I said the main issue is just so loose um but let's take a look at that noggin it does look quite nice um it does have light piping let's see if we can get if I can get some of that yeah, it doesn't really seem to be working all that well I probably have to shine a light work right behind his noggin for it to even work at all um but yeah it's still pretty decent detail can't really get too much articulation there just because of the shape of the head and also you really don't want to put your hands on all that chrome unfortunately uh but you do get a little bit of wibbly wobbly look up and down just a little bit but like i said can't really turn that much arms go out that far you can go forward that far back that far you can pretty much do a full 360 um not exactly a bicep rotation but it's uh close enough i get it's really weird it's sort of like the thigh rotation thing but hey at least they have it and then wrist bend but that's just for transformation no articulation at the waist you do get thigh rotation legs and forth that far back that far nice thigh rotation you can do a full 360 right there and um not too much at the knee i think it's possible that mine's just not quite bending like it's supposed to but i guess not much bend right there and then of course no ankle tilt just as before uh they really start going crazy with all the uh, extra articulation that everyone has grown to love and expect so that's about it for him this robot mode I can't remember the name of the scythe guy, but it's like a little bird thing. And then there is a way to uh, put him onto Megatron's back, but it's already pretty bad as it is. But you can have that flipped up for the backpack thing, but you can have him on his back. But <laughs> he already has stability issues as it is, so not really the best idea. And also, when you do it, for what, since um, they're is no glue for this um or not required to um it does tend to want to slide the face off of this uh, mini con you can obviously glue it i might actually at some point but um i mean to get into its uh uh or animal mode thing you just flip all these out rotate these back I mean, if, it gives me a little bit of rat bat feels a little bit feel a little bit and you have little claws clawed feet that uh, go out there uh, pretty much there is a lot there isn't too much you can do with this guy but still kind of cool um, I think you could also if you kind of wanted to do sort of like a bow and arrow type thing just I guess have his 
things. I think that might actually be a configuration, but it's just or giant axe. I mean, there's all sorts of things you can do with this if you so desire. But yeah, uh, this is the standard mode though. Is just a little bat, a bat. Um, now, one thing that's really odd, and I don't know, it might be something in the Japanese continuity, but there's like three different Decepticon emblems under three gem type things, and I honestly have no idea what that's about, because all the instructions were in Japanese. And, um, and then this guy right here is the fusion can, and the reason why I don't want to mess with him as much, because if he breaks, then he does not have a fusion can. And it's a little stubby for a fusion can. The stickers look pretty decent. Well, I do prefer the original Transformer Prime weapon, but you just kind of pull these out and then rotate this around. And there you have like, well, rotate all the way around. Then rotate these around. You have like giant gorilla arms and then teeny tiny little gorilla feet down there. And then yeah, just a tiny little gorilla. Um, of course, it's all like, there are, there are a couple of snap-on pieces, which is why I mean about super stressed on some of them, is that I misread the instructions, so I had this on the wrong side, so it uh, didn't work out so well. I do like how there's a Decepticon emblem, focus on this, uh, sticker behind that little uh, gem piece. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I think... The name of this guy is kind of like Death or something because, you know, Scythe. So I think that's kind of appropriate. Okay, but let's just go ahead and get this back into Fusion Cannon configuration. Alrighty. There, there we are. Alright, just set this down to the side because we all know what time it is now. Time for transformation. Okay, so uh, I did finally manage to get it figured out by looking at a couple pictures for reference, but this is the way the shoulders are supposed to go into the legs and then have everything, how everything's supposed to sit together. Also, this guy was a real pain to get into that little slot. Um, it does look a little bit big and wonky or goofy for the, uh, the jet mode, although this jet mode has always kind of been a little bit wonky, not as sleek as in the cartoon. But it, it's passable. Uh, it's not. The main thing that I just don't like about this particular release is, like I said, the colors don't quite match up. And also, this just, I guess I've used the mold so much that it's just gotten so loose. And this thing's brand new. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it for Megatron. And I think I like the mini cons that came with him rather than Megs himself in this case. Um, I personally, if you like Transformers Prime Megatron, I personally would not recommend getting him. I'd recommend getting um, either the Prime release or the first edition if you can afford it. 
But yeah, that's about it for Transformers Prime 10th Year Anniversary Megatron. And if you like this review and like to see more, please click that like and subscribe button to see more. And until next time, have a good one, everyone.